Okay, welcome to the second part of our small table series. <clears throat> and as I shown you, have shown you in the first part about the construction and underpinnings for the tabletops, we want to concentrate in part two on the tabletops themselves. I have a few finished uh, examples right here. And one of the key features on, of uh, my approach to dressing up uh, a table edge is to avoid miters and at the same time create a very unique and custom look. And I achieve that through corner blocks and short pieces of moldings with blocking in between to create a lot of interruptions and also to have more forgiveness in the perfection and the execution. Well, let's go to the table saw and see what we can do in cutting these pieces uh, to length and create some corner blocks. The corner blocks are kind of like the uh, essential ingredient to get a mitreless uh, surround on a tabletop. Uh, I cut already a piece here to show you where I'm heading for. Uh, this came out of a square stock and I cut on a table saw two cuts to remove the corner part that when I cut it into little blocks will be just like this. And so the next step is to flatten out the corner to create the flat surface that I will use to place the screw into the corner of the tabletop. Plug hole into the corner. Followed up by the pilot hole. Here you can see uh, an edge that is almost finished. So you get an idea from from getting from the small blocks that have been cut to the assembly of the edge. So the first part that we want to attach are the corners. So here's the corner block. And I attach this one with a small trim head screw right straight from the corner. I pre-drilled a hole for the plug and then pilot drilled a screw to go right straight into the corner to attach it. And I put a little drop of glue behind all the, these corners to make it stick harder. And I can afford to do that because I have a, a composite material underneath the flooring material. And it's perfect because it gives a really nice, sturdy and a stable reference edge to attach my molding to. I uh, have my pre-drilled, pilot drilled first keystone piece there and I will hold it on and give myself just a little, just a little mark with my drill to know exactly where I want to do my pre-drilling or I can also use the awl and give myself a mark that I can press into the edge so that I know exactly where I need to drill. I will go a, a pilot hole with my drill through, take the screw, get it started in my piece, put a dab of glue on the back, set it right over the spot, and drill it tight. And 
the various colors kind of like create an almost like a patchwork approach. Now the centerpiece, the keystone piece, is a little proud and it has a profile to set it apart. In order for these pieces to kind of like look all right when they come together, what I did is I just used the sandpaper and eased the edges just ever so slightly to give it a, kind of like a transition uh, shadow line, a little groove right there. And then uh, the finished edges will look something like this. And that's about it.